Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Friday the 6th of September. The local media headlines today. So devolution for Cornwall, what's it all about? Something called the Leadership Board plans to talk about it today. And if you don't remember voting for the Leadership Board, that's because you didn't. It's a collection of very nice people whose authority to represent you on the question of devolution is entirely fictional. Cornwall Council's devolution white paper is turning into something of an embarrassment. It makes 16 references to the Cornish language and none at all to democratic governance. The document is due to be considered by a scrutiny committee next week, but members of the public have been denied the chance to ask any questions. The document also makes no reference to the government-funded Greater South West. All the signs are that the government will simply ignore Cornwall and continue to treat it as a somewhat dysfunctional local council. The other big story of the day was the news that South West water bosses could be going to jail unless they clean up their act. And we had a an insider's view of shareholder democracy. In short, there isn't any. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and returns to the saga of the Treloyan Manor Hotel. It's another planning rumpus. Should it be turned into apartments? And if so, where does this leave the St Ives local plan, which tries to control second home ownership? I doubt this is the last we've heard of it. Greatest Hits Radio reported a dog attack near Padstow, which resulted in the death of a horse. The Falmouth Packet reported the rescue of two people on a half-inflated paddleboard at Pra Sands. And finally, Cornwall Live continued to worry about the weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.